Hi everyone, welcome to Nurex channel. About eight years ago, I explained how to install Nurex on Linux. I use an old uh, Ubuntu version for that. But during this time, many things changed. So now we, uh, the process to install Nurex is a little bit different. The uh, repository change of place is not more in Bitbucket and also the Ubuntu change a little bit and also the kconfig and so on are different now we don't need to uh, to compile it for example you can just install it from scratch but today i will do something very different uh, instead of uh, doing my own uh, installation i will follow the official documentation so the first thing you need to do is go to nurex.apache.org and then from here you go to documentation and in documentation we get to we need to go to get started and install we start installing the prerequisite packages so we run this command here sudo apt install so let's to put it here we can even press enter and copy the the next line i think okay i can copy all i was expecting it's not possible because this uh dollar uh sig dollar symbol in the beginning but Seems like it's okay. So after copy all the lines, just press enter and type my password. Okay. So it is installed the prerequisite package. Uh, by the way, I am using Ubuntu uh, 24.04 uh, is a, a new Ubuntu version. So this is the first time I am doing that. I am installing this uh, this process on this machine. So if I get some issues, we'll know during the, the process. Okay, after installation, we need to install the kconfig frontend. Uh, for new Ubuntu, you just install this uh, kconfig frontend package so just type sudo apt install kconfig frontend ok very good installed um, now about the toolchain uh, we can install this one for army uh, microcontrollers if you have, for example, other uh, microcontrollers like RIX-5 or ESP32, we need to install a separated, uh, a separated toolchain. But let's move on. Yeah. Okay, we just install the GCC ARM uh, toolchain. And after that, we can create the environment, the workspace. We call it Nurex Space. And from that, we clone the repository. We just uh, create the environment. So I will copy, copy it here. And let's wait it finish. Four, three, two, one. And here we go it is installed the arm to chain the binary and so on okay so let's you create the nerd space and then we move to that we enter inside nerd space and we clone the nerd repository oh it is missing the the git command so i need to install git actually as i said my machine is i just installed 
uh, Ubuntu 24.04 and I didn't install anything because the idea was go step by step with ever, everybody that follow this tutorial. So now I can clone the Nerex repository and also we need to clone the app Nerex application repository. So let's wait. It finished. Now the internet connection seems better. And let's see. Okay, it's finished. Yeah, now we can clone the Nerex application repository. This is smaller, so it's very fast. And hmm, okay, this one if you want to install from the like the release files so we don't want to do that and then we can move to the next step and yeah so we can enter inside nerex okay and now we can see all the the available boards and configurations yeah there are many yeah so these are boards and board profile. Uh, board profile means some uh, predefined configuration to enable something. Uh, for example, if I want to use the uh, Adafruit Feather RP2040 uh, with the uh, SPI Ethernet uh, Enki 28J60, uh, I just call configure passing this board and this uh, and this board profile and so on to many other features many other uh, boards so we have many board profiles that we can use but anyway uh, this uh, this listing is really big because we have more than three hundred boards and each board have two three ten or more board profiles so i would just press k and leave this uh, configured listing and then now we can select one board to compile so let's do it for the stm 32 f4 discover board so uh, this way it will compile the NSH that's the uh, the shell the Nerex shell for the stm 32 f 4 discover board um, one thing that's important to know is this NSH normally use the UART uh, interface so to get access to the Nerex shell for this uh, stm 32 f 4 discover board we will need um, an external US, uh, serial, uh, USB serial adapter, okay? So, let's you configure that. Oh, oh, it's missing the, the make. Mm. So, uh, if you are starting from scratch, like I am doing here, uh, you need to have the, uh, the build essential uh, install it. Let's go back and let's see maybe mm, it, in fact it's not here or maybe yeah it's not here so uh, it's important to know we need to install it uh, because the build essential have make and many other compilation tools okay so sudo apt install apt install uh, build essential yeah this one so build essential will uh, install all the development tools uh, that are required for for build uh, normally for build Nerex or Linux and so on uh, it's the make file is the lib tools and so on okay so let move let to continue uh, Let's see if I can do a make this clean now. 
Yeah, I can. Uh, there's some uh, some issues here. Okay, let me just remove the dot config and configure again, and let's see if if not, it can work now. Okay, now it 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 worked, so we can just run make. Uh, sorry, make menu config and let's see if the, okay, the menu config is working so we can uh, we can see all the configurations now for example, if we if I go to system setup stm32 uh, peripheral support I can see all the uh, all the internal peripherals of stm32 uh, microcontroller, in this case STM32 F407 because this is the microcontroller used on STM32 F4 discovery board, okay? So anyway, I will not modify anything here and I will just type make dash J and it will compile the NSH and the hello application. There is a warning related to the flash configuration, but uh, we can just ignore it. And now I can flash the this Nurex.bin. So to do that, uh, we need uh, two things. Uh, you need to run the OpenOCD command, but before that you need to connect your board in your computer. So I will do that and I will show how to flash uh, using OpenOCD. Actually, now that I talk, we need to install OpenOCD probably. Yeah. So I need to install first sudo uh, apt install OpenOCD. Yeah, it is installing, it's installing and okay, install it correctly. Okay, now that OpenOCD is installed, we can flash the nerex.bin. Let's see here. Okay, this file, nerex.bin. But before that, I will show how we can connect the board and the USB serial to get the NSH, okay? Uh, it's very easy to connect the STM32 discovery board in the computer. Uh, we just need to connect the USB serial adapter, this one, uh, in the STM32 discovery board. So the black wire is the GND, so I will connect here in the GND. The white wire is the RXD, so I will connect to the PA, PA2, this pin here, and the gray, I will connect to PA3, just side in the PA4, PA3. Okay, uh, then I connect the USB serial in the computer, and it is the red LED will turn on and then I connect the mini USB cable and the board turn it on. Now we can flash and access the NSH. So the STM32 F4 board is connected to our computer and the USB serial is also connected in the STM32 F4 discovery board. So now we can run the command the OpenOCD command to flash the firmware inside our board. We will use this command uh, OpenOCD F interface STM32, uh, sorry, uh, interface stlink. We don't need to put v4 anymore, just stlink.cfg and dash F target STM32 F4X.cfg. Uh, in each reset out 
flash image, uh, write image arrays netic.bin to the 0x08000000. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, it's flashing. Okay, when do you see this message? You can just press Ctrl C and now we can run sudo minicon. Actually, I think we don't have minicon here. Yeah, this other uh, we need to install. You can use minicon or picocon or any other um, serial console uh, terminal. I like minicon because uh, it has some more intuitive interface, but you can use picocon because you can uh, use it easily from the command line, for example. sudo apt install minicon. Okay, it's installing. And now I just run sudo minicon dash s. And then I go to serial port setup, press A to change to TTY USB 0. And the remaining is correct, so we don't need to change anything. And now press enter and go to save setup as default, this option here. And it is saved. Now, next time we just run minicon and everything will be right. So we just press uh, exit and now we can reset the board and see the Netex shell show up. Now we can type um, help or question mark and it show all the comments we have in our board uh, available in in Nerex in up for our board so if i type hello and it will print hello world and okay that's all for today and i hope you had enjoyed this video if you are not subscribed to Nerex channel yet please subscribe and press the ring bell to get notifications when i post new videos okay see you Bye-bye.